Yeah, it's it just so many options to say. You, you can <laughs> do analytical so stuff, options. you can do pharmaceutical stuff. What do you plan to do after you graduate? I want to do maybe go into the pharmaceutical ph uh, industry, do some research on new medicines, or maybe go into a forensic and like crime work <laughs> in the lab. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I'm quite interested in the food research. Uh, I've been looking into um, like working at Wageningen University or um, maybe research at Unilever which is a big company. Um, I've seen some internships over there and I really am interested to try and get one. If I had to choose then probably something in uh, which mixes organic and analytical a little bit with um, looking at organic, mole uh, organic molecules in, uh, in food products and analyzing it. At this point I'm looking into what I want to do for my minor and my internships. Uh, so uh, I've planned it in a way that uh, my minor will be at a university so I can see if I like the study there. Yeah, it's just so many options to say. You can <laughs> do analytical so stuff, options. you can do pharmaceutical stuff. Um, you can go in forensics yeah, if you, you want. You can do forensics. Oh yeah, that's also a very big part of analytical chemistry. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's just plenty of them. And sometimes you read the, read the description and you don't even know like, oh, I can do that with a chemistry background as well, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't think of that, so. So I'm looking to go into somewhere between a link between chemistry and the arts in a simple form, doing art that uses chemistry, as in not making new paints, but as in creating pieces of art that, uh, for example, over a long period of time, a slow reaction happens and it completely changes. So something like that, but I mean, it's very <laughs> in my head. I don't know how realistic that is, but that's like where I'm trying to head, really.